As Russia positioned troops near the Ukrainian border, several countries, including the U.S., started sending defensive weapons to the nation. While the Russian invasion developed, more and more weapons poured into the country. The European Union, for the first time, stated that it will finance the purchase and delivery of weapons in a show of support for Ukraine against Russia's invasion. Even Germany, which had earlier refused to send armaments, is in the process of delivering anti-tank weapons and manned portable air defense system to Ukraine. Overall, Ukraine has received a decent number of Stinger, Javelin, and Enlaws. While these weapons will be extremely useful for Ukraine, an indigenous system is also making its presence felt. It's the R-111 Stugna P, which is also known as SCIF in export modification. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Ukraine's Stugna P is wreaking havoc with Russian assets. Let's get started. The Stugna P is a Ukrainian anti-tank guided missile ATGM system developed by the Look Design Bureau. Its guidance device is developed and manufactured by Belarusian Design Bureau Palang, based in Minsk. The Stugna P is designed to destroy modern armored targets with combined carried and monolithic armor, including explosive reactive armor. ERA. It can attack both stationary and moving targets. Stugna P can target at a far range of up to 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles in the daytime and a close range of 100 meters. It can be used to take out weapon emplacements, lightly armored objects with pinpoint accuracy. In addition to manual operation, the Stugna P has an automated fire and forget targeting mode that does not require manual tracking of the target. Interestingly, apart from land targets, it can also be used against low-flying aerial targets, like a hovering helicopter. Stugna P consists of a tripod, missile container, PDU-215 remote control panel, guidance device, and thermal imager. The PDU is a briefcase-like laptop with a control panel containing a small joystick and a flat-screen display to assist the missile's guidance. Two firing modes are available, manual and fire and forget. Fire and forget provides automatic control of the missile flight using a targeting laser beam. The PDU-215 allows the control of the unit from up to 50 meters away with a wire channel. The system has a thermal imager for use during night operations. A three to four person team is optimal for deploying the Stugna P. Operators require specially made backpacks. Once the missile is fired, the operator controls the Stugna P and corrects the aim when necessary by using a joystick on the remote control. The system has a shelf life of 15 years. The missiles have a 10-year shelf life. The system comes with 130mm and 152mm caliber missiles in transport and launching containers. There are mainly four types of missiles. One, tandem charge 130mm heat RK-2S warheads, which are thought to be able to counter medium-weight main battle tanks such as the T-90A with penetration of 800 mm behind ERA. 2. 133 mm HE fragmentation RK-20F for use against infantry positions. 3. Tandem charge 152 mm RK-2MK warheads, which might be able to counter heavy main battle tanks such as M1 Abrams with their penetration of 1100 millimeters behind ERA. 4. 
152 mm HE fragmentation RK 2MOF for use against guarded positions. The system can use all four types of missiles without requiring modification. It's clear that Russia has underestimated the will of the Ukrainian people to fight and defend their land. While fighter jets and tanks need well-trained personnel to operate, weapons like Stinger, Javelin, Anlaws and Stugna P can be used with limited training. Technically, all able-bodied people can use them. Any force will find it hard to navigate urban environments behind enemy lines under the threat of those weapons. It's clear that Russian forces are taking a hit and Stugna P is playing a crucial role. The advantage with Stugna P is that Ukraine doesn't need it to be made available by foreign nations, unlike Javelin, which would be very important as the conflict draws longer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.